WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference, is being held this year in Egypt, in Sharm el Sheikh. WRC 19 is an event that brings together around 3,000 delegates from all over the world. Mario Manovich is the director of the Radio Communication Bureau at ITU. He's agreed to jump on a security buggy with me and ride around the venue, giving us an insight into this conference from his perspective. This is the largest event in the, of the ITU uh, in general. And uh, of course, it's the most important one for the ITUR, the radio communication community. This is an international treaty uh, mm -hmm. that binds all the countries of the world. And it encompasses all the regulatory framework of the radio communications, meaning the use of the spectrum, the satellite orbits, and everything that has to do with uh, all the wireless uh, services. This treaty is modified every four years by this conference and it has to be then agreed among all member states because this is going to be integrated in the national legislation of, uh, of each country and applied in each country. So once they've agreed something here, that means that they're going to apply it in their country? Exactly, exactly. That's the beauty of it because uh, we will then have harmonization of uh, use of frequency bands and equipment. That's why you can go with your phone to any country in the world and use it because there is a harmonized uh, spectrum used everywhere and uh, also the standard that your phone is using in order to work is the same one that uh, applies in other countries. If not, your, your telephone will not, uh, would not be compatible with other standards in other countries. That was the case a uh, long time ago when we didn't have this harmonization. Who's here? Who comes down to this conference? Who's making the decisions here? So the decision makers are the member states, the, the administrations. So we have 160 countries that are attending uh, here. But we have also representatives from the industry, uh, meaning the operators, the manufacturers, uh, also scientific organizations, international organizations that are interested, like uh, IATA for the flight-related applications, mm -hmm. the, the maritime applications, and we have the weather, the WMO uh, for the weather uh, uh, forecasting. Uh, as well as uh, research organizations and the academia. But they're but not signing the treaty? They are not signing the treaty, they are contributing to the discussions because they are uh, highlighting the needs of their sectors and uh, what they are expecting from the conference, but then the decision makers are only the governments. It should be that way because no. uh, somebody has to weigh in uh, what are the priorities and what are the, the more important aspects uh, to give uh, priority. Uh, as everybody's fighting, let's say, for the same piece of spectrum. The industry, of course, that are here have got uh, their own aims. Are they hoping to influence the conversations here? Absolutely. That's a part of our work. The ITU is the only international organization of the UN system that has not only member states, but also uh, industry members as uh, part of the membership. So they participate not only at the conference, but in all the uh, process that leads to the conference. That means in the study group activities, which is where you study all the topics that are coming to the conference and you put uh, together all the possible options for the conference to take decisions, as well as the recommendations and the handbooks that we issue every year. So the, the industry is uh, one of the most important contributors to our work. Well, let's have a little wonder in, this is one of the rooms here that uh, all the conversations are happening in. So this room is the biggest one of the center, it's called the capital room right. and we have uh, 3,000 seats. Mm -hmm. So this is the main plenary room, so uh, this is where all decisions are being taken in the last instance, as well as the uh, opening ceremony and the closing ceremony. Right. And um, as you can see, uh, each country has a nameplate, okay. but also, as you can see in the last rows, because the first priority is for the member states, yeah. but then you have all these other members that are part of the industry and other groups that are also identified by their nameplates. Right. And uh, the only way to communicate is via these uh, wireless microphones and, and headsets in the whatever language you want to, to use of the six official languages. And, uh, each, each one of these member states, however large or small, has got 
an equal say in what's being decided? Absolutely. Yeah. If we went to a vote, all countries would have one vote, right. uh, the biggest one and the smallest one. But in ITU, the tradition is that we don't go to votes. Uh, so the, this spirit of consensus is what prevails. So we don't vote and we just try to work and work uh, even if it's uh, until late hours at night to get uh, to build some this consensus and to get this consensus. the situation for people who have come here and they, they're definite they want something a, a result a solution do they always go home happy no uh, that's part of the spirit of compromise right. that means that nobody gets everything he wants uh, but uh, it's very difficult that you get nothing of what you want so uh, everybody gets something and uh, we say that normally the solutions uh, that uh, we arrive at at the end for the tricky topics are those that uh, make everybody equally unhappy <laughs> 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 or equally happy. <laughs> What's the best thing about being a director of the Radio Communication Bureau? Radio Communications today is at the edge of, uh, of the modernization of the world. If you look at uh, what people do, uh, everything they do is linked to their phone, to their tablet, uh, to, to a computer. The services and the communications are driven by wireless devices. Uh, not to mention the, the wearables and all these uh, applications. Sure. So uh, we are empowering these uh, possibilities and we are giving the possibilities of people to get more and more benefits uh, of everything that is available. One of my objectives is to uh, make sure that we not only bring uh, better services uh, to those that already have the services, but uh, to bring them to those that don't have. Yeah. And as you know, unfortunately, this is half of the population and we have to work for those, this half to, to be able to get connected. What about the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals? How, how does the work of uh, ITU and the work of the Radio Communication Bureau uh, feed into uh, um, making those goals achievable? Well, as you know, the, these uh, Sustainable Development Goals are applicable to all countries. It's not only for developing countries. So it's a major objective of humanity to achieve them. And it was recognized that uh, ICTs is the driver for all of them. So we are trying to make sure to provide this platform in order for these goals to be advanced and to, and to be achieved. But the most satisfactory one in, for me personally is when you see that you are making a difference for a given country or for a given region by, by helping them advance the, their agendas uh, for connectivity. I mean, you spent how many weeks here? Five weeks here now? And we've got another, yes. another week to go, I think? I yes, think. Uh, um, we have one week for the assembly, four weeks for the conference, and then we have half, half a week, uh, say three days, to prepare the following conference. Well, the next uh, WRC will be in four years' time, is that right? Exactly, 2023. Most of the decisions that will have been taken here um, will have been put into place by then, and, uh, um, and there'll be other things to talk about then, I presume? Yes, and uh, this conference is already deciding what is going to be discussed in 2023. You cannot just come to a radio conference and, uh, and put new topics in the agenda at that time, they have to be studied and this, we have this four-year period for that so that the decisions that are taken are informed after the studies and after seeing the, the possible sharing and the possible interferences that those proposals may, may cause. Well, thanks for taking the time to, uh, to, to chat with us today and uh, very best of luck for the, the last, last week of the conference. Thanks very much. It was my pleasure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.